Hi there folks and welcome to Get Strumming. Now this is a bit of a new uh, exercise today. A lot of people have been asking me if I could uh, give you an example of my teaching methods. Um, so I thought, well, what better idea than to get in touch with my friend here, Cora. And I just wanted to instill the idea that anybody can pick up the ukulele and play a couple of songs in no time at all. Cora, you've played the guitar a little bit, haven't you? But you were having problems because it was really sore on your fingertips, I believe, wasn't it? Yeah, I was just trying to sort of teach myself a little bit, but I found it was too big to sort of manoeuvre. Yeah, sure, So yeah. struggling to do it, and the strings were quite, um, like, cutting in almost. Like cheese wire, yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. Um, a lot of people uh, have that problem. Good thing is with the uke, uh, they're um, nylon strings, so you should, in theory, find them a little bit easier to play than a guitar. So what we're going to do now is basically a lesson completely from scratch, because you've never played a ukulele before, have you, Cora? So I haven't. We'll, uh, we'll start from scratch. So this is essentially what I would do for anybody who's learning to play the ukulele for the first time. I'm going to take Cora through, show the ropes and show her how the ukulele works and how we can get a song out of it. All right then, so to begin with, so you've got the uke, you're obviously right-handed. So you're going to be, uh, that's, that's a relief, because otherwise I'd have to restring it for a left-handed player. So basically what we've got, we've got the four strings here. And if you notice, the string that's closest to your face is a uh, higher string um, in pitch to all the others. And it gives it that kind of, sort of, uh, quite kind of fresh ukulele sound. And what you've got is G, C, E, A. And we, we, those are the names of the notes. Good, children, E, apple. And that's how to uh, remember which string you're playing. G, C, E, A, good, children, eat apples. So that's the, the name of uh, each string. And um, obviously these here, you'll remember this from the guitar. These are your frets going up. Mm -hmm. So obviously you're aiming to put your fingers in between the metal fret bars. So you're putting them sort of um, on the strings between each fret bar there. So mm -hmm. that's your first, second, third, fourth, fifth fret, so on. Um, now I've tuned the ukuleles up, so they're all perfectly in tune. So yours should sound exactly like mine. That's perfect. What I'm gonna do, first of all, is show you your first chord. Now the first chord that I teach anybody on the uke is a C chord because it tends to be one of the easiest chords to play. What we're going to do is use a third finger so you can either call it your index middle ring finger pinky or first second third and fourth so you start with your pointing finger that's your first finger mm -hmm. second third fourth finger so we're going to use our third finger placing it on the third fret and that's on the first string. So the, the strings are numbered one, two, three, four. So the string that's closer to your face is the fourth string, and the first string is the one closest to the ground. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna put your third finger on the third fret up, yeah. first string, and then to strum the strings, what I'd do is I'd either use my thumb or your first finger, either or. And what I normally do is just strum where the neck meets the body, just there, right across. So that's, you can see the join there. So I, you tend to get a louder sound. So that's perfect. So that's it. So essentially what you've got there is your first chord. Yeah. Right, okay, then next up, I'm gonna show you the second chord now. And again, this is another one finger chord. Now, once we've learned these two chords, we're going to be able to play an Oasis song. So, what I'm going to do now is show you how to play an A minor. So, obviously, like I mentioned, you've got your first, second, third, fourth finger, so we're going to use our second or middle finger. And you're placing that on the second fret, fourth string. So, that's the string closer to your face. Mm -hmm. And then that's all you need to do, just second finger there. So, leave the yeah. other fingers free. 
and just try that out for size now. So that's perfect. That's it. Brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. So that is the A minor. So what we'll do now, this is the tricky bit, because I know a lot of people, uh, when they're learning to play the ukulele, they find playing certain chords, but it's actually the changing from one chord to another, which can get a little bit confusing. So we're going to give that a go now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start off by strumming the C chord, but we're going to do it really slow, just to give you a chance mm -hmm. to change onto the A minor. So what we're going to do is start off by doing... Um, let's see, we'll do uh, 10 strums on the C, then what we're going to do is jump onto the A minor and do 10 strums on the A minor. So we start with a C chord, so that's your third finger, third fret, first string, and what we'll do, let's see, one, two, three, four, about that speed. So we'll do 10 strums on C, so one, two, three, four. So within 10 minutes, Cora has been able to play the C chord and the A minor chord. Now, with these two chords, we can actually play Songbird by Oasis. So I'm going to show you how to do this now. So what we're going to do, similarly to what we've just done there, we're going to strum the C chord. strums on the um, C chord and then 16 strums on the A minor. So here we go. So I'll count in to four. So one, two, three, four. Talking to the songbird yesterday. see with just those two chords the C and the A minor chord we're able to play Songbird by Oasis and as you can see um, Cora just picked it up no time at all like that do you think the um, guitar playing that you've already learned has probably helped a little bit as well possibly but I actually think it, it 
wouldn't have been much harder without no no there. that's safe what do you think um to the strings as well in comparison to playing like a, a steel strung guitar do you find it a little bit easier i won't lie it's still a little bit still a bit hard yeah yeah but it's definitely not as painful yeah because yeah it, with the steel ones it kind of feels a bit like cheese wire it does doesn't it, it proper digs in and you get these kind of grooves yeah. in your fingers it's absolutely normal when you're learning to play either guitar or the ukulele that for the first probably six weeks you're going to find it really painful pressing down even if you're playing a ukulele which has got nylon strings you'll probably really struggle at first um, and it's just a pain barrier that we've all got to get through i remember when i was playing learning to play the guitar when i was about nine and it was i remember almost my fingers were almost bleeding but it's just one of those things that the more you practice, the tougher your fingertips will get. And which means that you can, you, they get kind of calloused uh, fingertips. And uh, it means that I, eventually you won't feel the strings. But that were absolutely superb, that Cora, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Well, folks, as you can see, Cora absolutely bossed that doing um, Songbird. So, yeah, banging. <laughs> So what we're going to do now is, um, obviously I've shown you a really easy uh, strumming pattern. Because I always say it's important to get your chords right first and then make the uh, strumming pattern a little bit more lively, um, you know, once you've got the chord changes right. So instead of just doing simple downstrokes, what we're going to look at now is doing something a little bit more kind of ebullient. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Talking to the songbird yesterday. Flew into a place not far away. She's a little pilot in my mind. Singing songs of love to So we've played the entire verse there with the down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So that's a really good strum to use on this song. And it's, uh, it kind of copies what Liam Gallagher does when he's playing the acoustic guitar. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. We've, we've just about bossed um, <laughs> Songbird. About bossed it. It. <laughs> we've blabbed his way through it. Yeah, no, to be honest, that was really good, Corey, yeah. Brilliant. Um, so what we're going to do now is um, we're going to have a look at another couple of chords to use because uh, Cora's just um, confessed that she's not particularly a massive Oasis fan <laughs> but uh, is certainly into the soul and Motown so I've got a couple of songs that we can just take a look at but first of all what we're going to do is have an, an, a look at another couple of chords. So what I'm going to do now is um, show you how to first of all play the F chord. So uh, what we're going to do for this is use first and second fingers. So you're going to place your first finger on the first fret, second string. That's the second string from the floor. So there we go. That's it. And your second finger goes on the second fret, fourth string. So it's a bit of a reach that. Perfect. Brilliant. If you notice there, really nice, clean sound. If you're a beginner and you get this kind of thing, don't worry, it's absolutely normal. Um, what you've got to check first of all is make sure that your fingers aren't touching any of the other strings. So you've really got to try and lift your fingers up so um, they're on the tips. So all you're doing is pressing down on the strings that you need to. So there you go, as Cora's just demonstrated there, that's it. So that's an F major chord what you're going to do now we're going to do a d minor chord now to get from an f to a d minor quite simple really all you got to do is leave your um 
first and second fingers where they are. Mm -hmm. and just add your third finger to the second fret, third string. So you've just added it just to that one there. Mm -hmm. So that finger goes there, oh, that one there, it. that's it. That's perfect. Oh, brilliant, yeah, that's really, really good. That's brilliant, yeah. And then, last but not least, we've got this chord, which is the G major. So you use your first, second, and third fingers, and you're kind of making a triangle or upside down triangle shape. So your first finger goes on the second fret, third string. That's it. The second finger goes on the second fret, first string. So that's that finger, that's it. That <laughs> finger goes there. It gets confusing, doesn't it? And then your third finger goes on the third fret, second string. That's your G chord. Perfect, yeah, that's great. So if you notice, folks, in the last sort of 20 minutes now, Cora's learned not only the C and the A minor, but she's also played the F, D minor, and the G chord. So what's that, six chords, is it? Five chords, six chords? So it just shows that, you know, with a little bit of concentration, that you can start to build up your artillery of chords. So we're gonna now have a look at I Can't Help Myself, which is the old Motown track. The chords we're gonna be using for this are C, G, D minor, and F. Now, obviously, Cora's new to the ukulele, and just to shout these chords out, um, just expecting Cora just to be able to play them like that is a bit of a stretch, really. So what I'm going to do is just take each chord one step at a time, and then we'll put it all together when Cora is a little bit more familiar with the chords. So what we're going to start with is the C chord. So we're going to do eight strums on each chord, which, which is good because it kind of makes it a little bit easier to remember the uh, strumming by. So we're going to do eight strums on C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then what we're going to do is jump to the G chord. Now, when you jump in from the C to the G, all you've got to do is move this finger, your third finger, from the first string to the second string, and then place these two fingers either side so your first finger goes on the second fret third string that's it you got it so now we're going to do eight strums on the g one two three four five six seven eight now we're going to go to the d minor uh, yeah the d minor chord so what we're doing here is it's a bit like the f chord but we've got the full three fingers so We've got the first finger on the first fret, second string, just like that there. So that's the, uh, that's right. That's the, the string that's second closer to the ground. That's it. And then your second finger goes on the second fret, fourth string. And your third finger goes on the second fret, third string. So just next to it there. So that one goes, that's it, just there. Mm. That's it. So we're going to do eight strums on that. to the F but to get from a D minor to an F it's really simple all you've got to do is just lift off your third finger and you've got the F oh. so then we do eight strums on the F so that's it and then we go back to the C so we go round and round so it just goes round and round in a circle like that so we'll start off doing the uh, C chord again so eight strums on the C one Two, three, four. Sugar pie, honey punch. You know that I. And then we're going to go to the G chord there. So that's moving that finger to there. That's it. And then the other two. Perfect. You know that I love you. I can't. Then we're going to go to the D minor chord. So that's your first finger. First fret, second string. That's it, perfect, yep. Yeah. And second finger goes 
on the second fret fourth string and then your other finger goes just next to it there I can help myself I need you and and then to the F so you just take that that's it nobody else so there you go so all you've got to remember it basically just goes through those four chords So nearly, so that first finger goes on the second, that's it. Perfect, yeah. Help myself, I need you and nobody else. Perfect, there we go. That's it, and then you just go back to the C again, yeah. So that's great, so you're now really getting into the, um, the swing of changing chords. Within the space of a half an hour, two songs, you've got, C, G, D minor, and F. So there's four chords there. So including those four chords and the A minor in Songbird, that's five chords that you've learned in the space of half an hour. I think uh, I think that deserves a round of applause. So there we go. <laughs> so <laughs> just uh, we'll we'll edit some um, we'll edit you know big crowd uh, applause afterwards. But there you go, so that was uh, the two songs in half an hour with Cora Shaw here and um, maybe in another couple of weeks we might be able to have a look at some more chords and maybe uh, even another couple of Motown songs, seeing as that's what your uh, favourite tunes are. So just to, just to sum up, how did you find uh, playing the ukulele in comparison to the guitar then? Uh, it was certainly easier to... Um you know, make the chords out, sure, yeah. um, and I, I've not got as much um, Grooves digging in. in yeah. Your fingers, yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, it is a little bit sort of tender, but certainly not like the guitar. I could only manage five minutes or so. Exactly, yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. Um, with with the uke at least you can, you know, like we've been playing now for about half an hour, and it's just manageable, isn't mm. it? Yeah. It's easier to like manage as well. Yeah. I found. Because I'm quite small, yeah. I found the guitar quite you clumsy. Kind of reach and over. Yeah, it's whereas this it, yeah. feels comfortable to yeah. play. Oh, thanks, Dom. That's been really good. And Pleasure. Given me a confidence to try again with. Yeah, yeah. With playing. That's it. Well, you've made a really good start there, and uh, you're a quick learner. So uh, more the merrier. Let's get some more songs learned. All the best, folks, and don't forget, keep on strumming. <laughs>